Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Microburst 600 side-by-side. -side. In this episode, I'm going to be building the rear suspension A-arms. So I was done with the transmission uh, mounts and uh, the engine mounts, so I took everything apart off my table. It's just kind of sitting in a pile over here on the floor, all disassembled. So first order business, I'm going to build the jig table in order to build these suspension arms. I did this on my last build and it uh, worked real nice. So I've got this big plate here, actually it is from my last build. I'm going to reuse it again. I have all the points marked. These are for the upper uh, A arms. So I'm going to drill and tap all those holes and then I'll make all the little jig pieces that hold this stuff in place. Then I can make my tubes and then take the uh, these other pieces here that I've already made and I've got a pile of stuff down here already all the tubes and everything ready to go and I'll uh, start fabricating those arms all right let's get going I just snapped my uh, my tap off in there, so I have to try and fish that thing out. And man, that sucks. I found out why I busted that tap. It's because I I grabbed my 316 drill bit instead of the 1364, and just being that teeny tiny bit uh, undersized. You know, I'm trying to power feed it in there. The thing just jammed up and snapped. I should have caught on when it kept slipping, but I didn't. So what I did is I put my quarter inch uh, solid carbide end mill in there. And I just kind of, it's hard to see, but I just faced that thing to get it nice and smooth. And then I have a uh, 1 8 solid carbide. It's the only one I have left. It's a, it's a round, like a ball nose. So I'm going to see if I can try and feed that thing down in there and then get on it with an easy out. We'll see. What a pain in the butt, eh? Oh, I didn't even have to use this extractor. Look at that. Pieces just fell right out. Well, ain't that perfect. Excellent. Okay. So I just finished tapping the last hole on my big jig plate here. So next thing up, I'm going to start working on the fixtures, starting with this guy here. This one will hold the uh, suspension pivot tubes uh, onto the jig. And then from there, I have uh, a bunch more to work on. Okay. I finally finished making all the pieces for my jig table. So what I have here are the blocks that will hold the uh, suspension tubes, like the pivot points, at, uh, that will hold that down at the back. I have uh, just some angles here that will bolt down and uh, so, you know, kind of direct the tubes. And then I have these guys which will basically align you know, this front hub uh, mount. So I'll, uh, I'll assemble it all and I'll show you how the how the pieces will come together.
So that's the jig table. See the tubes are mounted in. And uh, these will guide the, uh, the tubes up to this bracket up here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start cutting the tubes for this A-arm. And then I can start uh, piecing them in and start welding this thing up finally. So just finished up the last piece and everything is set into the jig. Everything fit in real nice. I'm really happy with how this all came together. So I'm going to tack weld it all up and uh, have my first day arm done. I'm show you where I'm at now. So I have the I have the upper rear A arms done, and uh, they turned out real nice. They're all just tacked together right now. So what I'm working on is the bottom A arms now. So I finished making all the new holes for the fixtures, and I had to make a slightly different fixture to hold this guy. So what I'm doing now is I've got my tubes. I just got to cut one more. So these tubes are going to get bent. And what they're going to do is they're going to come in and then they're going to angle up to this right here. Now they'll be installed the other way around. Oh no, wait. Yeah, the other way around so it arcs the other way. Just to give me a little bit of extra clearance with that arc. So I'm going to finish cutting these and then I'm going to throw it over here uh, into my, my tube bender. Okay, I've got the tube clamped into my bender. I have everything marked and I need to get this bent at 24 degrees. Once I have it bent, I have a, a template here. It's actually a one-to-one -one. so I can just place it on there and I'll know if I'll have the, uh, the bend exactly right. Oh yeah, I'm going to start bending. Okay, so you can see that on there, and uh, it lines up pretty good. It's a little bit off. That's pretty good. That's pretty close. Okay, on to the other ones. Okay, got a lot done this time. Check this out. Two lower A arms. They're just tacked together for now. And then we've got the two, the two upper A arms. So A arms for the, the rear section are now complete. Man, I like how those turned out. So happy I made that jig table. It's a lot of work making all these things and you know drilling all those holes, but Turned out real nice. So that's it for this episode, folks. Uh, stay tuned next time. Well, I'm going to start tackling the uh, the front suspension. All right, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.